what is going on guys happy new year to all and welcome back to another video in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this trendy x and y shake transition inside of CapCut editor this is very easy to create so let's jump into CapCut and get started Okay guys here I already added my videos and audio to the timeline. Then I matched my video clips to the audio beat like this. So if you don't know how to match your clips to the audio beat, simply select your audio layer and go to the auto beat tool. Then you can choose to beat 1 or 2. So here I choose beat 2 and you can see it automatically added markers to our audio layer to find the beats. So then you can match the clip's length to these markers like this. Okay after that we need to add our X and Y shake transition to this. So first let's see how to create this trendy Y transition. Okay first I select my first clip and go to the animation. Then I add this swing bottom animation to this. And here I keep the duration to 0.5 seconds. Then I add the same animation for my few other clips like this. Okay guys now it looks like this. So you can see it has too much shake look, so let's add some transition to reduce that shake look. So go to the transition, and scroll down, then I select this vertical blur transition, and add it to my video clips like this. Okay guys now it looks like this. So now you can see it reduces that weird shake look, so then I like to add a flashing effect to these transitions. So go to the Effects tab, select Trending, then select Vibration Flash, and add it to the timeline. Then I bring this to the beginning of this transition, then go to the end of this transition, and I split this layer right here. Ok after that I select this, and go to the Effects settings, and I increase the speed value to 100, then I add a few copies of this effect like this. Okay, now our Y shake effect looks like this. So then I add a few more Y shake effects like this. Ok guys now our Y shake transition part is complete. So here we have a beat transition in this part, like this. So I use that audio part to change our Y shake transition to X shake transition. So first I select here. And split this clip like this. Then we need to add X shake transition to this. So go to the animation, and I add this swing right animation to this. And here I keep the duration to 0.2 seconds. And I take a copy of this duration. Then I select my next clip, and I add the same animation, with the same duration. Then I add the same animation for a few more clips. So now our X shake transition looks like this. Then I like to add the same flash effect to this. So I take a copy of this effect layer, and paste it here. Then I adjust it like this. Ok then I add an X shake transition for my all other clip. So here's what it looks like. Ok guys now our X and Y shake transition is complete. So now I will show you how I created this beginning part. So first you can see we already added the Y shake effect. So then we need to add the vibration flash effect. So I add it like this. Ok after that go to the effects tab, and select the dizzy effect, and add it to the timeline. So you can see this effect gives a nice flaming look, so I like to reduce that look a little bit, so I select this layer, and go to the effects settings, then you can adjust this flame look using this atmosphere setting, so I change it to something like 35. 
Okay, then I like to add another effect called Astral, and add it to the timeline like this. Okay, after that we need to add zoom and animation to this. So go to the beginning of this clip, and create a keyframe on the scale. Then go to the end, and I change the scale to something like 120. Okay, then we need to adjust the key graph, so right click on this layer and select show keyframe animation then open the key graph and i select this last keyframe then i click this auto curve button so now you can see it added curve look to this graph so after that close the keyframe graph and here's what it looks like okay it's perfect so next we need to add text to our edit so let's see how to create this text animation so in this edit i use simple glowy zoom in text animation so first you need to add the text, for that you can add the default title, then you can customize it, or you can use the auto caption feature in CapCut. So after you add the text, you need to select your all text layers, and change the character space value to 2. Like this. So then I select my first line, and go to the glow settings. Then I enable the glow, and I keep the glow color to white. Then I change the intensity to something 30 and range to 45. Okay after that I enable the shadow, and keep the shadow color to black, then I change the opacity to 64, blur to 100, distance to something 15, and angle to minus 39. Okay after that we need to add animation to this, so go to the animation, select in, then I add this type 2 animation to this. Then I change the animation duration to 0.3 seconds, then go to the out, and I add fade out animation, with 0.3 seconds duration. Okay, now our text animation looks like this. Do you like attacking your own kind? Also we need to add animation to our second line. So first I like to change the color of this text, so I change it to a nice red color. Then scroll down, and I enable the glow. Then I change the glow color to red, and the intensity value to 40, and range to 70. Then enable the shadow, and I keep these settings to default. After that we need to add the animation, so go to the animation. Select in. Then I add this fade in animation to this, and here I change the duration to 0.3. Then go to the out, and I add this fade out animation, with the same duration. Okay, now our text animation looks like this. Do you like attacking your own kind? So then we need to add zoom in animation, so I go to the start on this layer, and create a keyframe on scale. Then go to the end, and I change the scale to 110. Like this. Then I select my second line, and create a keyframe on the scale. Then go to the end, and I change it to something 120. Okay, then I need to adjust the position on this second line. So I go to the end of this text layer, and create a keyframe on position, then go to the start, and create a keyframe. Then I change the Y position to something minus 1050. Okay, now it looks like this. Do you like attacking your own kind? Okay, after that we need to add few effects to our text layers. So first I select my all text layers, and change them to a compound clip. After that I take a copy of this compound clip, and paste it right here. Okay, then let's add effects, so go to the effects, and select edge glow effect, and add it to the timeline like this. Then you can adjust the glow amount you like, so I keep it default. Then I like to add another effect, called black flash 2, so I add it to the timeline like this. Then go to the effect settings, and I change the twist amount to 100, and speed to 100. So now we have a nice text animation like this. So then go to the start, and press the I key on the keyboard to add the selection. After that I export this part. Okay, after that delete these layers. Then add your exported text animation to the timeline like this. After that we need to blend this layer with our original text. So go to the blend, and change the blend mode to screen. And finally I change the layer opacity to 40. Okay guys now our text animation part is complete. 
Here's how it looks. Do you like attacking your own kind? No, oh, I, um... So guys, our X and Y shake transition edit is done. So here's the result. So guys, that's how we can make trendy X and Y shake transition edit inside of CapCut editor. So you can see it's very simple to create. And also you can download these clips through the link in the description. So you can use these high quality clips for your edits. So guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. Also, please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment about this video and what tutorial you like next. So let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.